So for today's video, we're going over how to play out of the back as a goalkeeper. And this is extremely important for any goalkeeper to know how to do since the vast majority of our touches and matches are with our feet. And every year more is being expected of goalkeepers involvement and build up play. So the first thing you guys need to be doing to be able to effectively play out of the back is to always be scanning the field. You should always be glancing at the opposite side of the field wherever the ball is currently not to see if you're going to have any possible passing options. Because if you know who you're going to play the ball to before you even receive it, you're going to be able to get off your feet so much quicker, which is going to make you under less pressure. It's also going to make whoever you play the ball to under less pressure because of course the ball is going to get to them quicker and it's going to give the attackers less time to react to that and try to close it down. So the next thing you guys need to focus on is your positioning when receiving a pass. Oftentimes you're actually going to want to be checking away from the ball. So you can see balls on the right side of the field right here pressure is coming from the right side of the field and i'm going to start opening up to the left one obvious reason for this is that you generally want to be switching the point of attack where if you receive the ball from the right you want to be playing it to the left just because this is where you're generally going to have better numbers than the opposing team but it's also going to give you some more time to actually play the ball so right here you can see i checked about seven yards away from where i originally was and the striker right here decides that it's not even worth his energy to try and run me down. If I stayed more central, there's a very good chance that he would decide that he's going to continue his run, try to put me under pressure, and it's just going to make everything more difficult. Right here, I just quickly get the ball on the right side and then spray it farther off to the right, where we have a man pretty open right at midfield where we get to keep possession. So here's another example similar positioning so right here i receive a pass all the way back this is also very important this first touch should always pretty much be taking you away from pressure so you can see i'm being pressured from the right right here so i want my touch to be coming towards the left just again give me some extra time to get the ball off my feet so my touch taking me off to the left play a pass see a man on and right here again i see that pressure is coming from the right so then i'm opening up even farther to the left and again he decides that it's not even gonna be worth his effort to try to run me down and i bet if i stay more central on this he's probably continuing his run and then trying to put me under pressure but now i get to relax look for something wide i wanted my defender a bit wider right here but he didn't open up take a shot long and barely just doesn't come off but we do end up winning possession in the attacking third and here's gonna be a couple examples of how it looks when you don't give yourself enough spacing between you and the defender so right here is fine Pass it to my defender's front foot, always need to be doing that. If you can play it one touch, play it one touch, just get it to them as quickly as quick possible, give them as much time as possible to try to find an opening pass. But right here, right as I pass this, I'm dropping, but I should be dropping with a lot more urgency to put more distance between me and this defender with pressure coming in. By the time he plays it back to me right here, I should definitely be maybe five yards farther back and you can see why pressure is coming right here. This touch, also needs to be better farther away from pressure put it on my weak foot still find a pass but you can see how much more difficult that was than the first couple clips where i'm actually having to play while being pressured by a striker and then right here though i do good then you drop back in create a new passing lane once again if you can one touch front foot and they can turn up the field this is another example on a free kick i just really wasn't expecting this ball to be played short right here so you can see how close i am to my defenders again this would be much easier if i'm back on my six by the time I receive it, striker's gonna follow it in. Luckily, I already knew I wanted to go with the ball. I was able to find someone out wide. But if you can avoid playing these balls when under pressure, it's gonna make your life so much easier. And so much of that just has to do with your spacing between you and the defenders dropping in to give yourself more time to receive the ball, survey the field and play it. Although there are situations where you are gonna need to check towards the ball, especially in like ones like this, where my defender's under a lot of pressure out wide. There's also three attackers that are gonna be pressing me as well. So right here checking away from the ball is probably not going to work out because this guy on top of the box will have a very good chance at just picking it off so i make sure to show wide for him he lays it off to me i probably should be playing this with my left foot but i just go with my right just poke it over that first man find a little bit of space get a bit fortunate but when your defender's out wide like this under pressure and a lot of attackers are high pressing you these are the ones where you do need to make sure that you're actually checking towards the ball now while i originally did say that you want to be looking to switch the point of attack from left to right or right to left this really shouldn't be your number one priority it just so happens that that's usually what the attackers are giving us so that's normally where the ball goes but your number one priority should really be trying to find these pockets in the middle of the field and this is just because your team's going to be most dangerous with possession 
going up the middle of the field. It's going to give them more options to play out of, and it's going to make your team's attack just more dangerous in general. You just have to make sure when you're playing these balls up the middle of the field that they're going to be balls your team can control and they have someone to play off of because if you play a bad ball or your team can't control whatever ball you give them and you guys get countered against, that's a really bad position to be countered against coming up the middle of the field versus a misplayed ball out wide. Something that will help you find these pockets of space in the middle of the field is really just being composed and patient on the ball. So right here, could probably play this out wide, but I see these two strikers coming in. And then I also see my defender, top of the screen, maybe he's a midfielder, coming in as well. And I can just kind of see that even though there's not a passing lane right now, that the way that these attackers, the angle that they're taking towards me, one's gonna form if I just hold the ball for a couple seconds, which is all I do. I just hold the ball, find the hole, one touch layoff, and we broke out of it. Something else you guys need to make sure you don't do is picking up balls like this too early. Just leave them at your feet, let your defenders open up wide, get their positions right. But what it really does is it sucks in these attackers. So right here, you can see this guy came all the way from the far side of the field, comes to pressure me, forcing me to pick it up. And then that's just gonna open up the opposite side of the field. I can even just throw a pretty lazy ball out there. Same idea here, just long ball coming into my box, letting it roll in taking it down with my feet again letting my team just set up letting their attacking team just all get sucked in right here because you see these two players are up here and what it also did is it sucked in the midfield as well and left this big pocket up here because i can guarantee that this player right here who's tracking back now if i picked that up right away he would have just stayed deep but he sees the ball at my feet he's starting to press with the rest of his team opens up this hole we got a little flick. I think we keep possession here. Similar idea right here. Just have the ball at my feet, waiting for someone to come press me. Let the attackers all get sucked in. And again, you guys, you do not want to telegraph where you're going with the ball. If you know where you want to throw the ball or pass the ball, don't just stare them down the whole way. So right here, I take a quick glance to my left. I see that I have a man open that I can throw it to, but then I quickly look back up the field. This way you can see their whole team starting to suck off to the left a bit. And now I can easily just turn again, throw it over their heads, and we got possession on the far side of the field. And lastly, you guys just need to know when you need to go long instead of trying to play it short and possess it out of the back. So once again, right here, just bringing the ball down at my feet, let the attackers all get sucked in. I think I already know where I wanna play this right away. Yep, I hit it. Don't even get that good of a hit on this ball. But this is the type of times that you want to go long is when you guys have a numbers advantage up top. When you can have it where you just need to play it to one player and then they just need to flick it on to another open player. It's the perfect time to play it long and just bypass all those lines in the back. And we just, this one doesn't come off quite right, but it's the right idea. And then also with counters, always be scanning the field right here. I'm just looking, see if I have anything quick that I can throw it in off of a cross get a good ball in and again we're off to the races a lot of times when you guys end up playing short out of the back a lot it's going to open up a lot of things behind the lines right here again one touch pass have a numbers advantage up top we get possession in their end again just can't get the dribble off of it and like i said before you always need to be scanning the field i know on this cross right here that's about to come in that there's so much space over on this side of the field where if i come and claim this ball i know i'm throwing it over there right away and it turns out to be a ball that I don't come claim, goes out of bounds. But again, I already know what I'm doing. So I just put the ball down. It doesn't matter where it is on the six and just spray it out there. And we have so much space up top. So, so much of these counters too is just recognizing before the play actually happens where you want to go with the ball. And that just starts where we started at the beginning of the video. You guys always need to be scanning the field. But anyways, that's the video, you guys. Hope you like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, GK. Also, check out GoldRemy.com. Ton of gloves, training equipment you guys can buy. Help support the channel. Till next time, peace. Run the city out in Kansas, in the cut like bandage. I do damage, Vandal handle me. These bosses cannot manage me. I am the king of cannabis, so rumble in the jungle like a...